them up, and they went down, of course. Well, that's it. Thanks to Henry and to uh, Frank. Lennox Lewis is back on track. Bruno is still there. We could be heading for another showdown between the two. Good night. August 1994, 540 teams have set out on the road to Wembley. Six months later, eight survived. Now, only two are left. Manchester United versus Everton, Cup Final Grandstand, Saturday at 12.15 on BBC One and Radio 5 Live. Gary Lineker and Alan Hansen give their final analysis of FA Cup finals in the new issue of the Radio Times, which also contains complete listings for all television and satellite channels. In a dirty city. Frazier, this is Chicago. The only reason to open a window is get a better aim. Where the natives are far from friendly. She shot my hat, Ray. I could feel air coming in through the hole. Ah! <coughs> Morning. Down here, you make your own cases, they turn you into bicycle cops. Ah! It's time. Call me. To call in the cavalry. Get out. Due south, tomorrow, 8 o'clock on BBC One. The heart of the West Country, a tough world for the new vet. This isn't London, Jennifer. Farm animals aren't pets, they're the farmer's livelihood. I think he's using it as a threat. Take it as a compliment. Now we wait. I told you to keep that pony vet away from my office. You didn't sell up and move a few hundred miles to become an assistant vet, did you, Jennifer? Well, I want to see her now. It's my practice, and I don't need anyone's permission to act on behalf of a client. I wonder if this is only a problem because Jennifer happens to be a woman. Do you or don't you trust my judgment? Not always, no. New drama in the vet begins Sunday at 8 on BBC One. Has Kate Jackson finally found her missing son after 15 years? Or is she about to let a deadly stranger within? The late night thriller here on BBC One is in 30 minutes. Before that, the latest on the big screen with Barry Norman and Film 95. <laughs>